Hi, my name is Michael Trout, and I'm a bee conservationist. What's a bee conservationist? Well, basically, it's someone who wants to help save the bees. And we're not interested in collecting honey. We're interested in establishing habitats for bees that are as natural as possible. So take a look. So uh, here is basically what I'd call a conservation beehive. It's not for honey collection. Um, and this is going to be a board on the top here. Um, and I'm going to glue it together, bind it together, and then I'm going to basically uh, protect it. And you notice it's nice and thick walls, and it's nice cedar in here, and the bees will make their, their nest in there. And actually, their entrance is a natural entrance, which is going to be down at the foot here, right down here. So this is going to be the actual na natural entrance right here to the hive. It's actually a mistake. And I'll show you how this... What I did was, there's actually some pieces here, I've numbered the pieces, because I'm actually going to be gluing the pieces back together, All right? And it opens up like this. And what I did was, I basically took a chainsaw right there, and I just cut the log in half. Then what I did was, you'll see some of the edge marks. I ran the edge marks and hash marks, and then I chiseled it all out. And you can see all the pieces here. Um, I still have quite a bit more chiseling to do. Ultimately, when I'm done, you won't see any of these cross marks in here. Not that I don't think it's a problem. Um, I'm also checking the thickness, so like I know I could go down in here more because there's a lot of thickness in there. Um, I put an X here to say, hey, no more chiseling there. You're as far down as you want to go. So, you know, it's... Uh, it's taken me two days. Uh, yesterday, and actually less than a day, I started yesterday around four, and then I started today, this morning, and um, I'm pretty much done. Bees are like canaries, and they're dying because of us, because of our toxic pesticides that ultimately is getting into our water because they're, they're water soluble. They're called systemic pesticides, these neonicotinoids. Roundup, all these things are water soluble. And what's happening is, is we're destroying our water. The water is weakening the bees and ultimately causing their demise. It's a combination of things. It's not one thing. It's the fungicides, the herbicides, the toxic GMOs like Roundup and BT pesticide, industrial waste, everything. You have to understand less than 0.007% of our planet has drinkable water that is accessible to us. 2.5% of the water is fresh, but actually a very, 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 very small amount of that is actually accessible. And what's really scary is with things like fracking and other things, we're actually destroying our water that is going to be needed in the future in, in contaminating it. It's a simple thing. If we're going to put chemicals and toxins into our environment, they're going to have an effect. And we've reached the point now where our bees are crashing. And they are like canaries. And all you need to do is go see the bees in areas where there are no pollutants to see how they're thriving. And where there are, where people, you know, like in the suburb, suburbia and other places where people spray a lot of Roundup and everything else, or in agriculture areas, the water basically is just no good. All it takes is one bad source of water to destroy a hive of 40,000 bees. So it's very important that you set up a water supply so here is uh, water that I actually fill with, with clean water um, every day. I fill it up actually with water that actually comes out of, it's, a, it's our drinking fountain water um, that we get. It has no chlorine, no fluorine, nothing in it. So it's as safe as water you can get that I provide there. There's over 20,000 species of bees, less than 1% of social bees. So you also have to set up solitary bee hives. What's a solitary beehive? Well, it's really simple to do. This is a raised bed that I made for less than $10. A lot of bit of time, but I weaved all these sticks together. But you'll notice if you look closely, there are holes in these posts. And these posts basically are potential habitat for solitary bees that will create their nest. As you can see, all this food here is actually food that we ultimately um, grew from the shopping centers, 
the seed and other things that I collected or you know um, just placed in there and allowed it to regrow. That's all this is edible in here. These are hacked tomatoes from the store, from store seed, free tomatoes that I have. And I have lots more. You know, everything pretty much needs bees. If you like chocolate, if you like coffee, if you like all these different things, they need you need bees for them. And ultimately, we are creating an environment that is toxic for them. So unless we create and make changes to that environment, there's really no hope. I appreciate you watching, appreciate you listening, and I hope you too will become a bee conservationist and not worry about collecting honey, but actually worry about putting up safe water, natural habitats for bees so we can get them back being native, back being, you know, uh, part of our environment and not something that requires the, the tending of, of man. And we can do that. Um, they will go back to nature. We just need to start encouraging them to do that.